The thing that we're most excited about is the idea of making new types of microfliers and exploring this idea of what we call photophoretic levitation. You could also call it radiometric levitation. These are structures that have no moving parts but are able to create a jet of air that is creating a lift force based on some temperature differences that exist in the structure. For me, it's really amazing to be able to see these structures that are tens of nanometers in thickness, literally things that you can barely see with your naked eye otherwise, being built into a macroscopic structure that you can see with your eyes, pick up with tweezers or your hands, and you can make move around with light. This method of making things fly around, it actually works best at relatively low pressures. The interesting thing is that these pressures exist naturally in the atmosphere if you just go high enough. And in particular, it happens in the region of the atmosphere that is called the mesosphere, which um, is the region between 50 and 80 kilometers in altitude. It's an interesting region of the atmosphere because currently there are no persistent aircraft that can stay in there. It's too high for airplanes and balloons, and it's too low for satellites. So one of the things that we're interested in is whether we can make new types of structures that can stay aloft in that region of the atmosphere where nothing else right now can stay. You do the experiment and you want to validate this experiment. So you have to either go through the theories that exist, but you also have to see where the theory lacks so you can have your own added to it. There's something that we did have to specifically start to understand and engineer and are still working on is how do you make sure that something is flat enough and stiff enough in order to support the thrust that it's being given so that it can move upward and not just bend or, or flex in a specific direction. The composite that we have here is actually a solid and air. And so we're characteristically structuring air to take the most advantage of air, which is the fact that it weighs very little. And placing our solid, particularly in places so that it gives us the best advantage, whether that's a way to absorb light and create levitation or to create thickness or to create stiffness or recoverability under some sort of large deformation. And so we are creating a composite out of solid and air when you need light weight.